what it is, bro. They be lying on me, too. Got a tiger in the line on me, too. All the Gucci got me looking like a zoo. All the water like I'm diving in the pool. Yeah, all the jerks sweat around and I'm a jewel. They want me stuck like in the project like I'm glue. I be flying with my fire cause I'm too cool. I put your head right on the platter, now you fool. She said if I don't keep being lit, she swear it's low. She told me if I stop being rich, she swear it's low. My nigga be jelly, he be hitting, and I know it. He ain't never tell me, he don't say it, but he sure. Derek, don't you start to be. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So glad you guys have tuned in. And happy new year, of course. So today we have a very special guest. I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. Hi, everybody. My name is Tavares Martin, and I'm an entrepreneur. Um, currently, I have a personal training business. I recently started a photography business. Um, I host different events with my mom and her um, nonprofit, speaking about health and wellness. And pretty much beyond that, I help a lot of different young men um, kind of find their purpose in life, whether that's um, through business or sports, fitness, whatever it is, just try to help them and give them guidance. With the new year coming, everyone kind of develops a new year, new me mindset, which can result in them trying to do new year's resolutions. So what do you think is a recipe for failure for that method? Uh, pretty much, I believe that anytime you put a date or time on when you decide to make a decision into a lifestyle change or anything that kind of will push you into a positive direction, you can't use any outside factors as the reason why you're starting. It has to be all internal. So versus saying I'm going to start January 1st or a specific date, you should just wake up one day and say I'm starting today. Um, and the reason why I say that is because anytime you put a outside reason on it, that same outside reason will be the same reason why you quit. So if you say January 1st is when I'm going to start eating healthy and start going to the gym, January 15th might be the day where you say I'm going to stop going to the gym and stop eating healthy because I've been doing it since January 1st and I haven't seen any change. So pretty much you want to focus on just the reasons why you need to do something versus, you know, because of this, you know, because of because the date, because it's the new year. Um, just focus on the needs and, you know, what your goals are versus a specific time. Very well said, Tavares, because I also believe that when you want to accomplish a new goal, you don't need a set date or anything. You just to mentally prepare yourself and just kind of go for it. That's the best kind of way to go for it instead of trying to set a date because you're going to set yourself up for failure, as he said. To touch base on what Darian said, um, in life, it takes one decision, just one decision to make a drastic change in a positive or negative way. If you think of your life as a cruise ship, you're the captain of that ship. And any small alteration or change in the direction of the wheel over time, your life will be going in a completely different direction. Um, I feel like a lot of people find themselves not only being stuck in a bad habit, but they cling to other people who kind of have the same bad habits as them. And they call it a friendship or family. Yeah. And um, they don't really recognize the negative impact that they're kind of allowing to have on each other. Um, and ultimately, I feel like it's important that you kind of stay aware of your surroundings and, you know, the people you allow in your space and just your decisions on a day to day basis. Always remember you are in control no matter what. It doesn't matter how long you've made any decision in your life. You know, it doesn't matter how long you've been feeling down on yourself and just take one decision to wake up and say I'm going to be different you know I'm going to make a change and I feel like you know taking that kind of ownership and um, just that that power that you have and realizing that it just turns you into a completely different human being so always be a winner and you know don't get down on yourself it's just important to know that you can make a change and that it's all on you. You can't look for somebody else to come into your life and say, okay, this is what you should do. You have to be proactive. You have to seek the help. Um, and you, you just got to really just want it. You know, you can't make excuses and, and look to others to kind of push you to be great. You got to want to be great on your own. And being here next to Darian, I know she wants to be great just because of her journey. I remember a while ago, she reached out to me on just wanting to learn about being a little healthier. And, um, I know that over time I saw her make some drastic changes from afar, you know, not close, but I did see her make some 
big changes in her weight loss journey. And as you can see, she's made some big changes, and I'm very proud of her for that. Thank you. So congrats. Yay! That's so nice. Very well said, Tavares. I think on top of all that list of things that you named about yourself, you should mm -hmm. add the motivational speaker. Who agrees? Because this guy is awesome. Thank you. Okay, Tavares, as a fitness professional yourself, um, what are some things that people can do to not get taken advantage of from other fitness professionals? Um, number one, you just want to do your research, kind of figure out who this person is, um, see if they have a website, um, a Facebook business profile, and kind of read reviews on them to kind of see how they interacted with previous clients or people who have worked with them. Um, number two is ask them questions. Number one, um, if you're seeking to get a personal trainer or a health coach, the biggest thing is for them to be able to connect with you on a personal level. Um, they can't come to you with a cookie cutter, you know, um, template like, okay, this works for this person, so it's going to work for you. Um, you want to make sure that this person has great people skills and that they're empathetic to be able to connect with you in your life and your problems your issues to kind of break it down and put you in a position for success and then number three um at least with personal training and you know i'm a personal trainer you want to make sure that they have the correct certifications to kind of give you the right advice um you don't want to just go work out or train with somebody just because they look good or because you know they know how to work out themselves because at the end of the day just because you know how to work out yourself does not mean that you can you know um effectively train somebody and teach them the proper tools in order to really change their life um, especially dealing with things like in the weight room or you know in the gym because anytime you're dealing with weight or machines pretty much you're putting pressure on your body and load and that can put you in a position to either you know make changes in a positive way like I said or you know make changes life changes that are negative which could potentially be getting injured from doing exercises with the wrong form or just not being taught the proper way to do things. So I feel like all three of those things, if you kind of be mindful of, you will be setting yourself up for success. And that's all we want. So, yeah. That is great information. I hope you guys took notes on that from him. Okay, Tavares, my next question for you is, as a fitness professional, what do you think are some key areas that are essential to health? Um, I like to break those key areas down into six bullet points. Um, those bullet points start with sleep. Sleep is very important. You want to make sure you're getting six to eight hours of sleep each night to kind of make sure that you are not only healthy, but just to put you in a um, you know focused mind state to go out and attack your goals on a daily basis. Um, the next one is nutrition. You want to make sure that you're eating the right foods to sustain a healthy lifestyle. Make sure you're counting your macronutrients. Make sure that you are grocery shopping. Make sure you're meal prepping. Make sure you're eating throughout the day. Um, the next one is water intake. Water intake is very important. You want to make sure you're getting three liters a day. Um, kind of fight inflammation. Kind of helps you keep you know out of drama just because you'll be too busy using the bathroom and you know trying not to pee on yourself because all of the water that you are drinking well on a serious note it helps you build muscle if you are working out if you're not drinking water your muscles are built up of a lot of water and you know your body is 70 percent water so if you're depriving yourself of the amount of h2o that you need you know you'll notice it and your mood will be different you know um you know just everything will feel different versus when you are properly hydrated workout consistency now workout consistency is very important for those of you who have fitness and health goals um you want to make sure that you go and attack those goals with smart goals that's an acronym you guys can reach out to me if you want to know what the acronym is um and it kind of just sets you up for a plan for success um you also want to make sure that you break things down into small increments of time versus large increments of time so six eight or 12 week increments versus six months or a year kind of just helps you stay consistent and focused on a smaller portion versus feeling overwhelmed on a large scale um, next is post-workout recovery you want to make sure that you're stretching make sure that you are making sure that you're eating the right foods after workouts make sure you go in the sauna and the steam room to kind of help release tension and fight you know toxins and stuff that are stuck in your body that you know you can't really get out from just working out or just eating the right foods or drinking water. Um, just doing those necessary things to kind of help you decompress. 
after long weeks and you know after stressful you know situations and stuff that you go through life and last but not least is stress management i feel like this is probably one of the key areas that you want to focus on because if you are focused on stress management um you will realize that the way you handle um especially emotional situations you will do that um more efficiently just because you're focused on how you handle your stress um finding healthy outlets like working out you know writing poetry doing art spoken word many different things that are healthy ways to kind of relieve stress are what you want to focus on thank you so much Dar Tavares for those key areas also guys if you want to know more about how to deal with stress and anxiety I do have a um, past video of that you can go check it out and the link will be in the description wow as you guys can see Tavares is very dedicated focused motivated and inspirational I want to thank you so much for joining me today and giving us so much good information for my channel and for the viewers um if you want to follow Tavares I'm going to go ahead and let him shout out his social media at SMSW Fitness will be at the link below um, I have a website as well also have a Facebook business profile page um, you can all you know see that in the link in the bio below I'll also go ahead and drop his email in the description if you guys want to email him reach out to him for any um, personal training or anything that you need that you're interested in that he does and also as you guys can see we're rocking his apparel which if you want to purchase you can go on his Instagram page and look at a couple photos he has different shirts and sweaters so if you want that go ahead and contact him on Instagram and he can go ahead and get you your apparel so with all further ado thank you so much for watching guys as always love hard dream big and inspire as many people as you can each day. Bye.